what would be the equation of a circle whose center is negative 5, 0 and whose radius is square root of 10? x plus 5 all squared. x plus 5 squared, squared plus, plus y, y minus, minus 0 squared. squared, so that's going to be 0, equals 10. square root of 10 squared, which is just 10. Now, these equations where x is being squared and y is being squared have a name. They have a name. What do we call an equation that has both x and y being squared? Any guesses? Where both x is being squared and y is being squared? Transcendental. Implicit is kind of true, actually. Implicit would fall under this category. Well, but the specific one where x is being squared and y is being squared, they're called quadratics. Double quadratic. <laughs> Super quadratics. They are called quadratics. But a special type of quadratic. Wait, wait, wait. wait special wait, type wait. of quadratic is? Transcendental quadratic. Is? No, no, don't do it. Um, is? Like Hold on, give us a hint. Uh, conic. It is conic, oh, conic, oh, conic equation. Conic equation. Conic equation. <laughs> the reason why is because all of the shapes um, are the in some way a cross-section of a cone. For example, the conics are the following. Those are your four conics. Four conics are circles, parabolas. Also, the ovals aren't called ovals, they are called ellipses. And the one at the bottom is called a hyperbola. They are all cross sections of a cone. Now, Probably the most difficult thing to do with conics is normally you're given what we call a general form of a conic, like this, x squared plus y squared minus 10x plus 12y plus 12 equals 0. And our goal is to convert it to standard form so we can graph it. Because when it's in standard form, it's easy to graph. x minus 5 squared plus y plus 6 squared okay. equals 49. On your marker boards, what is the center of this circle and the radius of that circle. If I were to graph this, what is its center and what is its radius? What is its center and what is its radius? What's 7 times 7? Let's see some answers here. Let's show, let's, let's, I'm not sure let's see some answers true. here. Show them over there. Show them over there. <laughs> the center is should be at 5, negative 6. That is correct. And the radius is 7. No, it means but over nine. this equation and this equation are actually equivalent, meaning somehow I can convert this equation to look like this. How are we going to do that? Wait, These are the steps that we're going to follow. I'm sorry. These are the steps. No, not going from here this way. From here this way. Okay? First of all, what we call this equation is the general form. When it's written, when it doesn't look like standard form, it's written in your, your square terms first, then your x and y terms, and your constant, we call that general form. First step, we're going to move the constant over. Move okay. it. First, move the constant over. Which so which part of this equation is the constant? 12. 12. The 12. Move it over to the other side. That's going to give us, let's move it, x squared plus y squared minus 10x plus 12y equals negative 12. Just subtracted the 12, moved it to the other side. After we've done that, the, the next step equal. is going to be prepare to complete the square. I hate square. Prepare to complete the square. Part of the reason why I asked you guys to learn this stuff because I've never taught you completing the square. Complete the square is definitely something important when you go on to college math. Prepare to complete the square. Those college professors definitely want you to know how to complete the square. Preparing to complete the square means to put your, your x terms next to each other and your y terms next to each other and leave a space to complete the square. x squared plus, oops, incorrect. What comes next? Minus 10x. x squared minus 10x. And I'm going to leave a blank here because we're going to need that spot to complete the square. Then plus y squared plus 12y plus some blank. Again, they are going to need that spot available to complete the square. Twice. Equals negative 12. 
So we are now ready to complete the sway. Now what that means exactly you're going to see. Our goal, remember, is here at the bottom. If we take a quick little zoom in right here, Diego. Our goal is to make it look like this. What I mean to complete the squares is that I'm trying to get these squares here. The square and that square. 36. So I'm going to try to complete the squares. Now we're going to complete the squares. So we prepared it to complete the square. And we need to figure out what goes here and here to complete the squares. Okay. How many times have I just said complete the square? 25 over What you do to complete the square, and maybe you won't see why just yet, but you're going to see after why it works, is we take the term next to the x term, or over here next to the y term, in this case negative 10, divided by 2. What's negative 10 divided by 2? Negative 5. Negative 5, and square it. That's going to be 25. So we put a 25 in the box. 36. Now be careful, whatever you do to one side of an equation, you always have to do to the other side. So we also need to add 25 to the other side of the equation. Now here, take the term next to the y, 36. 12, divided by 2, which is? 6. And square it, which is? 36. So it's just b over 2 squared? Yeah. I said b over 2a squared. <laughs> yeah. Same take thing. the Take the middle term, the x term, divided by 2, and square it. Now what that does is now we've created... A trinomial, trinomial that factors out really nicely. That one, and then this one over here on the side. Those two factor out really nicely. It's funny this is x minus 10x plus 25, what does that factor into? You have to add 36 to both. Oh, thank you, sir. I almost forgot about that. We have our 36. We added 36 to one side. We need to add it to the other side also. Equals 49. Now, what does this factor into? x squared minus 10x plus 25. X minus 5 squared. X minus 5 times x minus 5, which can be rewritten as... That makes sense. X minus 5 squared plus... In this case, y, plus, y squared plus 12y plus 36 factors out into y plus 6 squared. Squared. And that's going to equal negative 12 plus 25 plus 36. We could have done it in this step, but I just want to remind you that we're going to work on that side. Negative 12 plus 25 is 13. 13 plus 36 is 49. So we have successfully converted general form into standard form. Then this becomes very, really easy to graph. It's so easy. Even Jesse can graph it. Because all he needs to know is that the center is 5, negative 6, the radius is 7, and he could create a graph. No problem. Right, Jesse? Good job, Jesse. Oh, now you're quiet. Can't, can't keep you quiet during the rest of the time without asking you to point out something you're like. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. What's going on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, all of you. What? Copy. <laughs> all of you. Copy down this equation, x squared plus y squared minus 22 x plus 16 right? plus 160 <laughs> equals 0. Show me your steps in between, Jesse, to arrive at the, at the standard form, x minus 11 squared plus y plus 8 squared equals 25. Your steps watch. that you're going to follow are I'll just watch Jackie do it. general form. Make sure that you know that that's the general form. Move the constant over. Prepare to complete the square. Complete the square, and finally write it in standard form. Okay? Um, I think that'll be it. So once we've converted, we are done. Thank you.